All right, let's go back in the streets and try and get this next task done. I'm not holding on to anything. Glory to the CPSU and uh, we're going to work on ambulances again. All right, that's our two tasks. We'll check all the ambulances and also check out this. I think there's an item we have to pick up. We also need to get more shotgun ammo. Let's do. Good to be back, mate. Reborn, how you going, dude? Thanks, 100 bits. All right, what are we doing? Missed you too. Thanks for 100 bits. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Um, ambulance. Ambulance. EPSU. John! Stop messaging me on Twitch! Atterbury, thanks for the prom. It literally, it literally lights up on my screen. How can you even message me on Twitch? You have to be friends. I thought you had to be friends with people to message people. It's not an invitation for everyone to message me either. Where, where are the ambulances? There's one up here. Let's go to that one. I'm not your friend. That's not what I said. Oh, Zobius. Don't be like that. Chat, what's a game that we could all play together? Like, you know what I would love to do? And I've said this three times at least. You think? Maybe. Just maybe. I could start a 2142 private server and we could all play together. Ping would be too high though, wouldn't it? We hosted it in America. We all joined that. I'd call WoW. I have to finish Hardcore Tarko first before I can do Hardcore WoW. It's a really Hardcore WoW is really hard for me to balance. Okay. If I was to play Hardcore WoW, I would want to set some rules. For example, if I die... I die. I put a guillotine above my head. Doesn't cut my head off. Cuts me straight down the center. When one becomes two. You know something that really annoys me in Project Zomboid? Is... Also, I, th I like that there's a skill system in the game. Why does reading those books take like seven years? Like, I'm not even exaggerating, like seven IRL years go by. I want the ammo from here. Running a bit low.
And the more I talk about Hardcore WoW, the more I want to resub. So Hardcore WoW. Oh, I'm going to play it. I just, I want to do some other stuff first. I need to get back into my eye racing too. Yeah, I'm doing the ambulance quest at the moment. I don't think I have like cinema key in that door on this account. The Cordia 64 apartment I do. It's like. Hardcore is just rough when it comes to keys. I just... It, it, can this ambulance have it? Okay. Now we go to the one outside check 15. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Do I have the, uh... Like an office key. Is she even thinks the nine months? Horrible people want to murder me. You have to do this x ray quest in the same raid. I'll just go in here so that way I never have to come back in here. I don't know him bacon.
fly this guy with a gazelle? Realistically, we should drop that. It's going to be too heavy to get out, but... One year, Papa. Thanks so much for the one year. Praetorian, thanks for the 12 months. Uh, big boy Jevish, thanks for gifting a sub. Yeah, I know X-ray building's next door. Um, I don't need that armor. It's, it weighs too much as well.
How would you feel about power activation on customs powering up a key door in big red side like X11SR just to balance out the loot? What's wrong with the loot on customs? Lucky one, thanks for 21 months. been so long since I came here but up to date on YouTube. Keep up the good work, Dad. Thanks, dude. I don't know if this is a scav or a player. I think it's a scav with all the time. Gabriel, thanks for three months. Work this out. I'm trying to get to there. Where's that extract? Have expo. Nice. Should have peas here. I think this guy killed the other guy. Or not, he didn't. Love you, Dad. Thanks for everything you do. All right, man. Poggers, pestily moist. All right. So realistically, going to sell for lots but shotgun is just such a good one and we parted with it there's definitely a dead body over there but
67 kilo. It's a long walk. We can pull it off. Why are we so heavy? We're gonna get killed on the way out. I'll just chase us down. I'll run us down like dogs. Players go. There's a dude in the X-ray building now. I think we leave this. Thanks for all of the amazing content. You're a boss. Alright, dude. It wasn't super geared, but... The least run takes six months. And say Max takes the five months.
Played hardcore enough to know. It's time to leave an area. And that was a time to leave an area. We've already got the item, don't we? We need to get forward to the CSPU. B Brotherman, good luck, mate. I'm gonna go from the outside. I do feel much better, thank you. I've been on antibiotics now for like five days and I slept. Close to eight hours a night, each night. <clears throat> My wife and I are sharing a... Uh... Bedtime duties, so... Not all uninterrupted sleep, but a good day. And I have no idea which one of those guys I was killing were players and which one were player scavs, but. It was a lot. I almost feel like I could go back and get more loot now, but... A Strulter, thanks for eight months. Still not worth it. Player scav. He was hurt too, it means he means shot. And this boy be farming. Go, 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 go. I don't think I had base for it. Oh, I did. Could be an ultra medical. Could be lots of keys, that one. I did if that was the door key. Can they hear a slow walk? I'm not sure, man. Wait, who was the first player I killed? That was the guy that had the RSH, right? No, that was this guy. No, it had to be this guy. Man, 
and straight rides are just sweaty. We've got to keep the time up. It's going to run out any moment now. So if you've got a resub message, make sure you send it through. You've got a prime sub to have to type the prime. <laughs> Oh man. I don't have to say that 400 times a day. Oh, we got the we got the armory key. Have we done Blood of War? Part three, two. Yeah, of cool. Is there any other requirement for a fuel conditioner? Fuel tanks, mags and sites, and red rebel, which I'm never gonna get on hardcore. I could, but I'm not. The subathon is over, you silly goose. I know, I know, I know, I know. It was a joke. It was a joke. We don't need lots and lots of money though. Oh, uh, we could do we could there is some things that we could do that requires money. Mentor task. I, I must have left some dog tags in that other container. Hey. I played really well then. Personally, I think. Some good claps. Alright, so we've got some extra sword ins. That's kind of nice. Uh what item did we get? Hand in the journal and scav headshots done. We now have the rep for max level prepper. It's nice, it's very nice. So we have the rep for Max Prepper. We have the rep already for Therapist. We have the rep for Skier. We don't know about the rep. Well, we need to get more dollars, so we have to buy dollars. We don't have the rep for Mechanic. We have the rep for Ragman. And we almost have the rep for Jaeger. So Mechanic should be our priority. Should have bought in Heaven. Import. Import we should be able to get done pretty quick on, shore, uh, on Lighthouse, right? We get another ammo case. Need one green, one thermite. All right, so wait, are we up peacekeeper rep? Right, let's just sell some stuff real quick. Um, what if we just sold all these things to our boy? Peacekeeper and just see where we sit dollars wise. Instead of converting. So your goal is max traders? Yep. Oh, skill we can just buy. Alright, how many dollars do we need? We need 9,500. One point four mil. Got a lot. Got a lot to get. All right, so we don't know what rep we need for Peacekeeper 4. But it is good XP just getting these tasks done on, sh on Shoreline. The other idea is we go Lighthouse, and there's a lot to do on Lighthouse. Halfway to 39. Can't you buy and sell back or is that against the rules of hardcore? You can't buy on hardcore. You can barter trade. While we've got this SR25, maybe we should just go lighthouse. Alright, let's let's be serious about this. What tasks on lighthouse can we do? Oh, I gotta hand over that GPX. Wait, did we not hand it over? Do I need to restart my game? Is that where the, we got the GPX from? Alright, let's just transfer it over then so we don't lose it. We just have to do a vehicle extract. Alright, lighthouse. Rogues. Anywhere, cool. That's easy. Cottage area. Revision. So two markers. Broadcast is a jammer. So two markers and a jammer. That's it. That's all we need. So which two have I not done? These are the two inside the actual place. So. It's a jammer for the operating room, right? And it's a camera for the... And you put a jammer near them. Yeah. All right. So jammer and then mark those two things. We need the operating room key, which we have now. All right. Lighthouse is one of the most painful maps for me. So let's just hope we get in and uh, 
could go somewhat smoothly. Alright, not a huge fan of the spawn, but... Vertexes and VPXs are up ahead. Connect! I am now a hot target. I am the hottest target in the map. I'm going to die and I'm going to give the P so the the bit connect away. Oh my god. Becky! Connect! I'm so dead. I might as well look in here. What's the harm, hey? I should walk. Function that BSG were going to add to the game that they never did was they were going to make it that you could extract your loot from the raid without you having to leave. Division Dark Stone style. I think so. It wasn't going to be like a flare in the sky and you'd have a plane fly past. He's like, well, these two bitcoins are nice. The main reason I just want to extract is because I don't want to have a target on my back. I don't really need him that much.
guy was like, I'm just going to do a quick loot run. And with a rig <laughs> and AKS. Poor guy. Old driver. He wasn't a rat. It was just either zero to heroic or he's just doing a money run. There's nothing wrong with what he was doing. This whole rat thing really annoys me sometimes. I don't think everyone should have to W key up to someone full sprint to shoot them. I think, I, I think there's nothing wrong with crouch walking up to someone, sneaking up to them and shooting them in the back of the head when they don't realize it or they're busy looting or something. Too many stupid type of labels. I agree. It's a stealth game. Not many people know that. All right, sell, sell, sell. Hold on to these for now. We need $9,500. Alright, and we need 0.14 Peacekeeper rep still. With another $6,000 spent. We have to spend money on skier as well. Another 700k. All right, we go again. Rogues, mark the for revision and operating room. Is that really interesting? Like, I made that tweet about people that were around before found in raid if they enjoyed it more or whatever, they prefer it or not. There's so many misconceptions. Some people think that found in raid was put into combat RMT. It never had anything to do with that. Found in raid was like, all right, we want to make it that uh, you can't just hand items in straight from the flea market for your quests. That was one thing. Well, that was pretty much, I think, the major thing. And then Nikita also incorporated it. So Found in Raid also made it that you can sell stuff on the flea market. But the flea market wasn't just a, a place where people flip stuff. What if Found in Raid items were only items found with PMC? Why? You can't loot items in a scav raid and get out with them without surviving. So what, how, how does that make any sense? This is where like, I'm glad that a mixed, like both streamers and Twitter and Reddit aren't developing the game. Because it just wouldn't make a lot of the decisions. It just doesn't make any like any, a lot of the people's opinions just don't make any sense. All that are uneducated on the matter. I'm gonna make a video today, most likely. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. Talking about before and after found in raid and and the differences and then people's misconceptions. And I also asked Nikita his thoughts and I asked him four questions. You can find out in the video. But let's just say people aren't gonna be happy with his responses. Well, not everyone. There's gonna be people that won't be happy with his responses. Ooh, am I bear? I think I am. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Oops, sorry. I think the it's not about too many gamers think they're good designers i think the, the the matter is and i've been humbled in this as well is and that's why i inject less and less but it's unless asked is it's not our game to develop we can give opinions we can give feedback but trying to force something on a developer is is I'm going to use the word cringe, but it's not our game to develop. BSG want to make the game however they want. And it's like the same reason why they won't add female PMCs into the game. And if they wanted to add fluffy unicorns, they could. We just have to accept the fact that BSG want to make the game a certain way. If we don't like it, then 
unfortunately, that's just not the game for those people. I'm, I I love this game either way. There's things that, that freaking frustrate the crap out of me. <clears throat> so I think instead of trying to force a specific thing or major change in the game, you find other ways that don't require too much effort, but help, help, uh, help push things back to the, the, the direction you would appreciate. I honestly think the best comment I've seen about the whole fountain raid system has been from Landmark on that tweet from Glorious, where he said, just increase the selling of the item value closer to the buy value. So when you kill someone and you loot their gear, you can sell it closer to what it costs. And that doesn't, that means you don't have to worry about selling stuff on flea. You can just get it. And then vendor it. And then you've got your money. Please tell me he died then. And then that doesn't require any changes to Fountain Raid. It makes PvP more valuable. Armor, guns, ammo. Make it closer to the buy value, the buy cost to the sell cost. Yeah. Done. And it's simple. Doesn't require a heap of coding. Doesn't require major changes to the whole f structure of the game. How the game's played. Yeah, I don't know why BSG haven't made dog tags more valuable. That one baffles me a little bit. On the roof. Let's not go on the roof. Run. How do I shoot a guy in the head? How do I shoot a guy in the head with with this ammo? 993. And he's like. Hey dad, loving the content, keep it up now. Thanks, dude. I don't actually have to kill the guys in here. I just have to get past them. He just walked up to the door! No audio! Just walked straight up to the door! He didn't creep. That's that right. That raider just walked straight up. So, to me, 
The argument of Baton Raiders is the reason why no one moves is, is a joke. Audio is the reason why no one moves because everyone's terrified that they can't hear anything or they hear too much. I don't think Baton Raid has anything to do with it. People are like, well, if I move, people are going to hear me from across the map. Or if I move, no one, and then other people are moving and no one's hearing because they creep walking. It's either one extreme or the other.